Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today is another video in our series on BIOS. So here we'll go into the Toshiba BIOS and show you how it goes. So here when the Toshiba is there, F2 on the keyboard will actually bring you to the setup menu. It's what is called setup. Uh, so we explained the BIOS in the first video a little bit what it does and the different areas of the BIOS. Now we're going into a little more details about each settings in the BIOS. Uh, we will look at the main page of this Toshiba BIOS here and uh, show you that some of the settings that you can actually modify. Uh, one of the first settings basically you see in the main page of a lot of BIOS uh, is the date and time and um, you know that you can change it in Windows, but the computer still needs to keep the date and the time accurate. And one of the reasons it needs to do that is the fact that um, when Windows starts loading, one of the things you want to make sure is that everything loads right because of the file stamps you know in Windows uh, each file has a date and a time and it's quite important because sometimes when dates and times don't match you can have your computer uh, boot up with strange operational problems they usually get fixed up when the computer is booted up because Windows will uh, actually go and verify what time it is on the internet but still uh, BIOS is a great place to uh, actually change those settings of date and time. Another important thing about that is the fact that um, on most computers the BIOS is actually maintained by a small battery. Um, in most computers it's a CR2032 which is basically a little um, battery that you know it's like a one of those button batteries uh, that you find in uh, a watch and I actually had a watch that has a CR2032 uh, a men's watch usually have those because they're big uh, women's watches will have smaller batteries uh, one of the things that you can try is if you think your battery is dying out one of the greatest ways to know that is just to go into the BIOS and if you see that every time you close your computer and you turn it back on the date and time are not good and usually they revert back to old dates for example if I remove the battery on this computer and put it back it's gonna revert to 19 uh, sorry 2001 because the BIOS can revert to 2001 is the oldest date that it can revert to on some computers it can go to the 90s and uh, I've even seen in very old computers that it goes to 1980 so it uh, gives you an idea. If the date and time incorrect when you uh, turn it off and turn it back on, might be time to change those batteries in uh, that battery in your computer. Second thing we see here is the storage, and um, you can use your arrow keys to go through the BIOS. By the way, um, here it says the hard disk, and it tells me what hard disk is installed here it's a uh, Seagate hard drive and um, one of the main um, features of the hard drive is uh, some BIOS will actually tell you not only the hard drive but it's going to tell you the capacity of the drive and um, some BIOSes have also the smart status enabled that tells you it's okay or not <coughs> and here you see two hard disks uh, written there only one is on the list, uh, meaning that two hard drives can actually be um, this motherboard can have up to two hard drives on uh, the computer. So um, that's why you see it. And uh, notice that some settings are black, some settings are in blue. <coughs> Sorry, the blue settings means that it's um, impossible to change. These values are locked and you can't play with them. The black settings are the ones that you can actually modify if you want. So that's um, 
the important thing to know. Some settings you aren't able to change. And it is dependent on some uh, BIOSes, if they're open or not. Some BIOSes are locked and some are not locked. So uh, if you have a BIOS that's not locked, sometimes you can actually modify almost anything in the computer. And uh, so we have date, we have time, we have the hard drive's information. We've got the memory information if we go uh, down to total memory. 3,072 megabytes. I've got uh, basically 3 gigs of RAM visible to my computer. And uh, least but not last, the BIOS version. And uh, BIOS version is something that you should actually check. If your computer has bugs or some uh, instabilities, um, I would say that one of the big big uh, really the I would say it's one of the major problems in Windows usually uh, the BIOS is often very important to be up to date if you want to improve stability of your system because of the importance of what the BIOS does in your computer uh, having all the latest BIOSes is one of the great ways to keep your system uh, working in good order uh, lots, most of the BIOSes have a language setting, English, and here, and uh, if you press enter, you see that you've got three languages here available, English, Japanese, and French. So, uh, some BIOSes have much more languages, it depends on the, the company that makes your BIOS. And finally, we have the uh, options here that says Quiet Boot and Power On Display. So, the uh, Quiet Boot enable disable will actually uh, show you what is called the uh, diagnostic screen so it's often uh, the difference between do you want to see all the settings in that black screen or do you want to see a logo so for example here when it's enable and quiet boot enable means that it's the Toshiba logo that is displayed at startup. If I disable this quiet boot, it will actually put the black screen with text with all the information about your computer being displayed, uh, status of your hard drive. So if you uh, prefer having all that information, you can actually disable the quiet boot to have the uh, full screen. Uh, some BIOSes have um, that information or that setting uh, set up as um, boot logo. I've seen some uh, Intel boards with um, boot logo instead of uh, quiet boot. So you can actually enable or disable the logo at the start screen. If you don't, if you don't want to see any of that gibberish in the uh, black screen because you just don't understand what it means, you can actually just uh, put the boot logo on or enable quiet boot and you'll see a logo instead so in this case I see my Toshiba logo before computer starts and finally power on display Let's just turn it off turn power on display which is LCD plus analog RGB or auto select this is a special feature in this case and it tells you the sequence of how it's booting when you have more than one screen. So if I have an external monitor or TV plugged into this computer, what it says is that when you power on the computer, at this time it's auto select. So if it detects a outboard a monitor or computer or a TV, it will display both the screen of your laptop and the external display will have the same settings at the start screen and in the BIOS for example. But you can lock that function and one of the reasons why you want to lock that function is the fact that if uh, some monitors sometimes are not detected properly at the BIOS level and you can force the computer to actually 
use that setting. So you can put it to LCD plus analog RGB, which means that you can actually force the output of your computer to the display, um, especially when you have CRT screens. CRT screens and um, the new LCD screens don't actually hacked in the same manner so um, you might not have a display on the CRT because of the different frequencies and uh, different uh, options and resolutions of screens so you got a an option here to keep it up or not so uh, this was the main sequence um, of the BIOS and in the advanced and security and other settings will be a little more detailed will have probably more of a detail of the settings and the other options to uh, explain what can be done and of course we'll have different BIOSes not just this one this one is a simple BIOS it doesn't have too many uh, options that you can modify and we'll have other ones they'll have other options to modify and that will be explained also so uh, if you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And uh, hey, if uh, you have a request of any other video uh, videos you want to see, let us know. And uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.